Yo, what's up guys? It's Elite Shot here, aka Sean, bringing you guys another Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. Today I'm playing some Domination on C-Town using the UMP45, which I rarely ever use. And the only reason I'm using it is because recently, Modern Warfare 3 had a hot fix. They had an update where they buffed a lot of weapons, a lot of the underpowered weapons, which people recommended. As you can see on screen right now, these are the weapons they updated. They include the FAD, the M16, the AK-47, the UMP, the MP5, and the PM9. All those received the updates, or received the buff, I should say, and those were all the things they did to them. And as you see in this gameplay, I'm using the UMP-45, and it's definitely a lot better now. This weapon I would never use before, just because there were weapons that were better than it, and it didn't compete as well, say in those close quarter situations, compared to the PP-90, or even the MP-7 at long range. And I'm so glad they made this update, because now there's a lot more weapons I can use, and have some fun with, and actually compete with other guns. And some of these weapons are actually even better than some of the weapons, like the FAD received a major update. And in this video, guys, I'm not going to go into great detail explaining the exact stats they received. I'll link you guys to a video. This guy named Drifter, he made a video. I'm sure you guys, um, you know about him. He makes a, a bunch of great videos. He has a little series called Modern, War Modern Warfare 3 in depth. And I'm sorry I'm talking so fast. That's because this video is pretty short. And I want to make sure I get all this, all these details out there. Drifter, he makes these in-depth videos where he explains and goes into great detail about different updates and little uh, hot fixes and things like that and he made a video about this update where he explains the exact details of these weapons and what buffs they received. As you've seen before the FAD received a damage increase and a range increase and I'm going to tell you guys how I think or how I feel about these weapons after the update and I used FAD and it's definitely a lot better now. It's probably one of the better weapons in the update that received a better buff. It seems a lot more powerful, especially at range. It received both the damage and range increase, and it's so much better, guys. You gotta try it out for sure. Like I said, I'm not gonna go into great detail, but I'll just quickly explain each weapon and how I think about it. And for the FAD, I definitely think it's one of the best ones out of the update. You guys really gotta try it out. Here, get the MYB. It took me 127 seconds to get it, so it was pretty fast, and I was pretty happy I got it. And the only reason I got it was because this UMP is so much better now. But for the M16, the under shitty ass powered M16 that I rarely ever used before received an update as well. And I'm so happy because now it also has increased damage and also increased fire rate. And it's actually better than the Type 95 statistically. I mean, some of you guys might like the Type 95 a little bit more, but honestly, the stat wise, the M16 is now better. It shoots faster and the damage. Also kills faster at long range over the Type 95. I believe the M16 kills in 4 while the Type 95 kills in 5 at long range. So it's a lot better now. You guys got to try it out. For the AK-47, it's also a lot better. I rarely used this weapon before because the kick on it was pretty unplayable. But now it has reduced kick, so it's a lot easier to use. And I also guys recommend you use that too. I mean, all these weapons are a lot better. And I recommend you guys to use all these. They're Awesome weapons, I'm so glad I did this, but hopefully people don't complain about other weapons and they make some too powerful now. They're pretty balanced and I'm glad they did it. For the UMP, they increased the damage like I said, and it's so much better now. You can kill enemies at long range a lot faster. Before it took I think 5 or 6 shots, now it takes 4 or 5, so it's pretty helpful and you guys definitely notice it. For the MP5, they increased the fire rate. I honestly think this MP5 is probably the worst out of the update because I tried using it. It's still, it's, you know, it's not bad, but it's not the best out of all of them. It shoots a lot faster now, and you, you do drop enemies a lot quicker, but at long range, it still kind of suffers, but it's an SMG, so it is meant for close quarters combat, and it definitely uh, performs very well in those situations. And for the PM9, it also um, received a reduced kick update. And the kick is definitely very noticeable before. It was pretty crappy and very hard to use. But th thanks to the update, it's a lot easier to use. The kick is very manageable. And you'll definitely get a lot more kills than you ever had before. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's going to end soon. And if you did, guys, please have a like. It would mean so much. And you guys definitely got to try these weapons out. They're so much better. And they're a lot of fun to use. Yeah, guys, delete shot here. AKA Sean, signing out. And I'm sorry the video was so fast. And I probably sound like a maniac. <laughs> Peace, guys.